Here's a good illustration of how gold moves in a waterway. Gold likes to take the shortest, most direct route because that's where gravity wants to take heavy things. So as you can see, it went in a straight line and it'll continue that way until it gets stopped somewhere like a inside bend or some other obstruction. Now, when you come up to a large obstruction like this in a river, a big boulder, what happens is all the material flows around underneath and accumulates behind it. That's because as the water hits it, the current slows and anything heavy drops, works its way around underneath and accumulates in a tail of sorts, like a sandbar kind of configuration behind here. The gold will be right somewhere just downstream of this large boulder, not directly behind it because anything lighter will just get washed right out, but you want to look around here and a little ways downstream.